Up next is Debbie Viola, and she is no stranger to the Live It Up set. She's been a friend of mine for over a decade. Welcome to the show. How are you? Hi, Donna. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Recently, we got to spend a little quality time together, because yes. what did you do for me? Oh, I helped you uh, renovate your bedroom by uh, doing a makeover on all your bedroom furniture, all it, your pieces. Yeah. Incredible mm -hmm. and incredible. And where did you just give me today? I'm so excited to have this. I created them last night. I'm like, Donna needs some artwork to go with her new uh, color scheme in her bedroom. So one of a kind. Yes, absolutely. Debbie Violas, uh -huh. just for me. I'm like so <laughs> elated to have them. Thank you very, very oh, much. Oh, you're welcome. Um, your career has... Uh, kind of been prolific, if you will. So you started years ago, right after 9-11. Mm -hmm. You used to work in the corporate field. Yep. And what happened? Your boss was mean. Oh, my God. Uh, I worked <laughs> for the same attorney for 23 years. I ran his nine-attorney law firm. And uh, on September 11th, we were both in the city. And he was screaming out the window, I think my colleague Jared is in one of the buildings, like all panicky and everything. And um, then as the buildings came down, I was like, I've got to get out of here. My daughter was a freshman in college in Bernard in the city in Harlem. Uh, so my husband and I decided that I was going to walk from 42nd Street up to 100, whatever, and spend the night at the dorm. And as I'm leaving at just about 11 o'clock, he follows me what works. Since you're leaving early today, could you do this at the dorm? Like it was just an ordinary day. And I like, I backed into the elevator, my jaw dropped open, I couldn't even speak. I just couldn't believe that those words came out of his mouth. And at that moment, I made the decision, I am done. I put up with him for 23 years and that was it. This is the it. last but, straw. Yeah. Um, and I, that last straw became an epiphany for you because then you realized that you did some faux painting in your own home. Yeah, it People was just liked a it. hobby. I mean, I loved it, but it was just a hobby, you know, and um, I, it was financial suicide leaving my job. But I said, I've got to make this work. We have college to pay for. And somehow I did. I started out with a small gift shop in um, Bellport called Something Different. And in the summers, uh, Mayor Rudolph Julie. Giuliani uh, frequented it and bought little gifts when he came out, so that was kind of fun. And I began giving teaching lessons. I became certified as an instructor and um, painting lessons for hundreds of people, and it was just so much fun, and I just loved it. And I still pinch myself that I get to wake up every day and do what I love to do. It's a and lot of work. But yeah, but you're mm -hmm. great at it. And several times over, you've been uh, voted like the best artist on Long Island. Many times you've won that. Six years in a row by the Long Island Press, by readers of the Long Island Press. Very heartwarming and humbling. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. And this job has taken you everywhere. You have done big, gigantic lobbies where you faux marble painted for them and things of that nature? The Ritz-Carlton in the city, I had to match some marble uh, at my home studio. They gave me a little chip of marble, and I had to do this 12-foot uh, facade and uh, pray that it was going to match. But when we went into the city to take a look, my husband, who's my best critic or worst, um, he couldn't pick out, and neither could I, which was mine and which was real. So, oh, well, congratulations. Uh, yeah, so that's that's great. Mm -hmm. And other big corporations, too, have stand behind your art. You had a fabulous art showing um, at a furniture store where they had, what, 16 of your pieces? Third, commissioned? not 40. Oh, my goodness. 40. And that was the first time I was introduced to painting, to abstract painting. Uh, the manager called me up and said, I was on your website. I love your faux finishing. I'd love to meet with you. So I thought they wanted me to do a wall or something. It's like, do you do abstract art? And you never say no. And I said, I, I do now. What do you have in mind? And they said, well, we want more people to come and not just pass through our store, but to stop and enjoy the furniture and see beautiful art. Would you create some? So I created, like I said, originally 30 paintings. I, I Googled abstract art, and I said, this style, this style. And I just did what came to me, and I loved it all. And as I was delivering them. The managers were pulling them out of my van. I'm like, oh my God, this one's going there, this one's going there. And they filled it up so quickly, but there were still so many bare walls. They're like, we wish we would have asked you to do more. And I didn't tell them. I still had like two weeks before the show. I went out and bought 15 more canvases, like large, four feet by four <laughs> feet. And I did more, and they were just thrilled. And, um, you know, that was my introduction. That There was an opening reception. And um, it was filmed by Fios One, and I donated to the inn, and uh, it, it was just great. And there was an art consultant that was there and saw my work, and I've been working with her and interior designers ever since. And Congratulations uh, on just all of that. Thank and you. And before we close, I just want to mm. say you've got a new thing that's going on that was also 9-11 inspired. Can we talk about that? Yes. Um, I 
created this painting on the eve of uh, September 11th. I have a hard time sleeping every year. And um, so this year, I, at about midnight, I started painting, and this is what came out of me. And I called it the empty chair, and um, to me it just symbolized, and I just did a little Facebook post on it that, you know, stop and think about the people around you. Be nice to each other, because you don't know if there's an empty chair at their table. You don't know if someone in their family was murdered on September 11th or in any of these other terror attacks. And it just spoke to so many people. I got so many private messages and texts that people want me to do them now for their loved one or a friend of a friend. So I'm going to start doing that, and I'm all about giving back, um, just as a way to say thank you, that I will be donating a percentage to uh, Tuesday's children. It's, um, you know, a foundation specifically to help the children of 9-11 victims. Excellent. And I'm also doing a patriotic line where I'm donating 50 percent of the proceeds to the Gary Sinise Foundation. Um, I enjoy giving back. It's my way of just saying thank you for letting me have this second chance <laughs> yes. at my career, oh, well, my passion. You're well deserving of that, oh, Deb. Thank you so much. And thank you very, very much for joining us. Uh, Debbie Viola, she is a personal friend. She is a treasure. Please Google her, look her up. She's a gem. Thanks for watching. Live it up.